Hello everybody, welcome to the Nature Spirit YouTube channel. This is our very first fly of the month challenge. Um, we're going to do a quill body style wet fly with a flash underbody and let's go ahead and get started. Um, the hook we're going to use is a Hannock 230 number 14 and the thread we're going to use is uh, an ADOT black. Now I'm going to start my thread right where I want my body to end and that's going to help me keep the fly more proportioned. Go ahead and trim the excess and I'm going to go ahead and just bring my thread to the back where I want it to be. There we go. Now with your quill this is going to be your rib and what I'm going to use is I'm using a polis strip quill. This is natural they're pretty popular, they're kind of everywhere. Um, if you want your rib, because this has a black strip on it, there's a dark side and a light side. Depending on what side you want the dark side to be on is gonna determine the placement of your quill. If you want the dark strip to land in the front, you need to have the dark strip facing towards you. If you want it on the back side of your rib, you want it facing away from you. That way when it goes to roll, when you turn it, it'll determine the direction of the quill. I want mine facing forward, so I'm gonna tie like the dark side of the quill is facing towards me. So I'm gonna tie that in and it'll come up forward. Now when I'm doing this, as I'm wrapping up and down my body, I'm trying to keep it as uniform as possible. That way there's no, no gaps in my thread that can create a blemish in the body. And I'm gonna use three pieces of holographic olive flashaboo. And we'll bring that right to the back. There we go. And same thing forward. And we'll stop right there. And then we're just going to wrap this around the hook. We'll go all the way forward. Where the body's gonna end, right there. And we'll just tie that off. Two, three. There we go. A couple good wraps for measure. Now when I go to do the quill, I'm just gonna get the base of it just a hair damp so it doesn't snap. And I'm gonna start wrapping forward. Now I'm going to leave some, a space or a gap between my wraps with the quill. That'll allow the flash to show through better. Um, and depending on how much of the flash you want to show through, it depends on you know how wide you want your wraps. If you want more flash, do less wraps. If you want more of the quill look with the flash rib look, then use more wraps. Three, four, let's tie it off. Get that trimmed. Okay, we'll get that good and secured. Now, to help protect the body, and because quills are brittle, we're going to do a resin coat. And I'm just going to use a little bit of Rage Zap. And what I'm doing is I'm actually applying the Rage Zap to my bodkin before I touch the fly with the with the resin and that allows me to control the resin a lot more. I can have much more control over the amount of resin that goes on the fly. That way you don't uh, you know squeeze the bottle too hard and oops here comes a big glob and now you gotta now you gotta clean your fly up. And usually what I'll do to do that is I'll put a drop onto a plastic bag and I can just pull it right off the bag with my bodkin or my needle and apply it as I need. Just adds for a little bit more control. There we go. And we'll cure that. Give it a few seconds to cure. This is the benefit of a rotary vise, is you can just spin it and hold the light in place. 
Okay. Now we want our shoulder or our dubbing collar. And what we're going to use is some CDC dubbing. Oop, knocked over my bottle. We're going to use Swiss CDC's Dark Olive CDC dubbing. Don't need a lot, just a, enough to put right there. And I'm going to use them. This is the olive that will help it match the body a little bit, keep the color more uniform. And it just depends on how thick you want it. If you want to use a wax, you can. There we go. And if we have any long stragglers, we'll just go ahead and give that a trim. Okay. Now the next part. You're going to need a dubbing tool or a loop tool. We're going to create a little loop. Because I'm not going to wrap my partridge. I'm going to throw in a dubbing loop. That way I control the length of the feather. So we're going to go into some partridge. This guy right here. And I'm going to strip the fuzz off the feather and get it out of my way. That way we don't we don't want any of that going on the fly. So we'll just make sure it's off the feather altogether. Now if you're tying a bigger bug, you can just wrap this on. That works great. But as you can tell, my feather is much longer than the fly is. So I'm going to use my Swiss clamp and get what exactly what I need. I'll trim it. And this way I can trim it to the length I need it, place it right where I want it in my loop and let her go. This is going to allow me to have more control over the length of the feather. That way, when I go to wrap it, it's not much longer than the hook. And again, it's more proportionate. So we'll just give that a spin. Let that do its thing. Okay. Now, let's give this a wrap. As we wrap, we'll do, get the full wrap. We'll pull it back. Do the next one. There we go. And I'm going to twist it around. That way it gets secured. And we'll just give it a quick snip. Okay, now I've got a couple strands facing forward. That's an easy fix. Just pull it back. And wrap it down. There you go. And we'll just tie it off. Two, three, four, there we go. Now, again, we'll take resin, and I don't want a lot, so I'm just gonna take a small dab onto my bodkin and apply it that way. I'll glue it. And there it is. Now we want to see your guys' style. This is a challenge to challenge not only you, but we want to see what different colors, styles, and ways that you can come up with the same pattern. Post them to Instagram, Facebook, tag us, and we will share them as we love them. All right, guys. Get to tying, and we'll see you later.